Take one introduction. This is a little poem I wrote for this particular Christmas, which is similar to other ones, but different. Every year it comes back around, but it's never the same, not exactly, because we're never the same. Rituals repeating, carol singing, bell ringing, putting our feet into those cozy socks, pictures of red noses or Santa Claus, clocks fall back, we fall off, tracks, sleighs, wagons. We climb on backs, trains, dragons, go through motions, just like seasons, many intricacies within. Every year we are similar but different. And this Christmas, what will it give us? What will we give to it? After all, it is an exchange, giving gifts. If I was to give a gift to Christmas and I didn't have a wish list to reference, I would sit still in deference to the mood, and the mood would tell me what the season needed me to do. Only thing is, this Christmas, I'm a bit confused. We are supposed to celebrate, and I plan to, but it's like we're at a masquerade and the holiday spirit is dressed up in a costume. It's weaving through the crowd it's hard to hold on to. I catch glimpses, like when you see waiters bringing trays of hors d'oeuvres out of the kitchen, but by the time they cross the room to you, all that's left is crumbs and toothpicks, maybe a carrot, but nary a bacon-wrapped scallop to be seen. The lesson, I think, is to make friends with the waiters. No. The lesson is to accept carrots. Be like a reindeer, eat nutritious and fly. This Christmas, maybe we don't need any new lessons since we are obviously still learning the last ones, like how to maintain our spirits amidst global catastrophes of all kinds. This Christmas, maybe we can just focus on going forward again, put a little prancer in our step after this blitzen of a time. We could reacquaint ourselves with parties, for instance. Have you missed them? Remember, we used to gather with strangers in close quarters and stand under mistletoe and kiss them? This year, though similar, is different. Same amount of love, less kisses. We might rock around Christmas trees, but it will be while keeping our distance. We'll see it in the spaces between us on the surface, and we'll feel it in the weight of the absences amidst us. What didn't surface? and who. This season, we still have reasons to raise glasses to, even if some of them are half empty, or contain only fake champagne from the Sobeys, cause, well, inflation. The cost of living is out of control, but the act of living keeps on going. Christmases come and go, governments rise and fall, like solstice light, like holy nights. We're on our knees, we stand to greet it, we fall, defeat it, and then we rise again to meet it. Life is many cycles on repeat. This season is full of symbols. You can take what you need and then give what you can. Joy to the world or silent nights or helping hands. Deck the halls in your favorite colors. Call your friends or all your cousins. If you make it home, count your blessings. And to those away in other mangers, send them your wishes. I wish us all a good Christmas. Trays full of something delicious fancy snacks or carrots, but mostly a loving room in which to share it.